Now, you may not have heard of the black poppy, or more accurately, the black rose poppy. But have a look at these pictures, and we'll show you what it is. So there it is. There's the, there's the black poppy with its little emblem below. And what's it all about? Well, on the face of it, it's to honour black servicemen that were killed serving in the wars, who some people believe are underrepresented. And you're, you're seeing a picture here of Selena Carty, who founded this movement back in 2010. But it also represents black people who fought against the British in a variety of wars. And it also represents a demand for reparations. So it is intensely political, totally against the spirit of what Armistice Day, Poppy Day is all about. And yet, I'm very sad to say that on a visit yesterday to Surrey, our king, King Charles, wore one of these black poppies. There he is wearing a normal poppy, and there he is wearing the black poppy below. I doubt many of the other media organisations will even pay attention to it. Perhaps some won't even notice it. But if they do, then the king has made an absolutely terrible mistake. Or more likely, far more likely, he's been told, wear that, because that'll show, you know, that you're sympathetic to all of the ethnic minorities and their families in the past who fought in the wars. Whoever advised the king to wear that black poppy should be sacked from Buckingham Palace and out of their job by tomorrow morning. It is a terrible thing to get the monarch to do. The whole point of wearing the poppy, the whole point of the cenotaph, is that it's not about class or race or rank or what medals you won. It treats everybody absolutely the same. And that's the way that it simply has to stay.